here's our second project. This one is a little bit more complicated, but really cool. And this is the card that I'm gonna give my dad for Father's Day. Um, I think this is a great card like you can give to um, that special someone. And I went ahead and used those pros uh, word dies and cut out dad. And uh, this is really cool because when you open up the inside, there's a pocket here for a gift card. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make this pocket. It's really, really simple. And then just a nice little sentiment in the inside for dad. And I like this. I thought this was a cute image to put in the front. There's lots of good ones. You know, you could do this one. So maybe on this one, actually, I think I'm gonna do the girl because, well, my dad has daughters and I'm his daughter. And so I probably should do a girl other than, <laughs> than the boy. He's gonna be confused. So, but there's a boy, there's a girl. And then again, again, like for my husband, I'm gonna do the guy in the chair. So let's go ahead and do the girl this time because, well, I'm a daughter, not a son, <laughs> obviously. All right, so we got dad and daughter on a on a block. And again, you can switch it up and use whatever you want, whatever's gonna work for you. It doesn't even have to have dad. It could be, um, I don't know, anything, really, anything that you want. All right, so you've got all these pieces here. So this is the inside piece. This one we're gonna stamp on and put on the inside. Okay, and then I went ahead and I embossed the Coastal Weave um, embossing on the Granny Apple Green. Now what I did was I cut a piece of Granny Apple Green that was, this is four inches, four inches by five and a half. Four inches by five and a half, and I cut it at one inch, okay? So this one's three and this one's one. Now this one, the pool party, I cut at four and a quarter by five and three eighths, and then I cut it at one and one and an eighth. So now you have a three and an eighth and a one and an eighth, because these ones are gonna mat these ones, and they're just slightly larger by an eighth of an inch. Hope that makes sense. If you, if it does confuse you, um, the measurements will be on the project sheet. Okay. Now you also have these. Um, labels. Now this, your Knight of Navy label is going to look different because I've already done the cutting and punching for you, but I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So then in case you want to recreate this card, you can. So I'm going to get my trimmer out here, get the stamps off of it real quick. I'm going to get the trimmer out. I'm going to show you what I did. So I'm going to have the blade and I took my stitched nested label and I lined up the edge with the half inch mark over here. So this line right here is the half inch mark. So I just lined up my nested label here with that line. So I just made sure it was straight, closed it, and cut that half inch section off. Open up, there we go. Okay, so this is going to be the pocket. And so you can throw this piece away, which I did for you already. <laughs> and then I took my one inch circle punch oh, that I threw. Okay, and then I just did a little, not even a half circle, just a three quarter, one third of a circle, and just punch a little divot. So this way that they can, you know, grab that gift card out of there easily. I'm trying to decide where I wanna get my dad a gift card to. I'm not sure. I know he likes auto parts. I know he likes, you know, he likes to do lawn stuff. They just did, redid their garden and stuff. So. I'm trying to decide where I want to do this. Maybe Amazon. I don't know. It's hard right now with COVID and everything, but we will figure it out. I have a few weeks to kind of figure it out. All right. So I have a smaller nested stitch label, which is going to be the kind of focal point of our card here, which I'm going to stamp and color on. So this is just slightly smaller than the pool party. So we are going to stamp in memento black ink on this. And again, like I said, I'm going to use the, the daddy and the daughter. His feet are gonna be cut off, but that's okay. I like it, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and color him. I will try to duplicate what I did over here. I kept that shirt white again, as you guys noticed. Again, I just used the um, light smoky slate to do some shading. I'm gonna stick with that and just do the white shirt. So again, I'm just taking the light smoky slate, doing some shading. I'm going to pretend the shade's over here on the back. So it's also going to be right here next to the girl. He's got his arm. Okay, 
So that should be good. And then, like I said before, we just kind of want to soften those lines, kind of blend everything in, take that um, color, color lifter, just kind of soften that up a little bit. We don't want it to be so obvious, right? Okay. For his jeans, I did the same thing with the Knight of Navy. I did light Knight of Navy as the base. Probably should be using the fine tip, but I'm trying to cheat and do the brush tip. Okay, so there is our base coat. Now let's do some shading. So obviously right up underneath the um, shirt, there is going to be some shading between his legs. And like I said, this side of the body is going to be where the sun don't shine. <laughs> so we're gonna do more shading there. Okay, so then we'll take our light and blend everything. Okay. Now my dad is part Japanese, so I could probably get away with doing bronze again, but he's fair, he's pretty fair skinned. So I'm gonna go with ivory this time. I'm actually using ivory. <laughs> so I did the little girl and I did him in ivory. Okay, now my dad has dark hair. So I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do light basic black for his hair. And then I was a blondie. So I will do blonde for my hair and I'm gonna try light daffodil delight. Nice, I like that. Okay, now what color should I put for me? I did green and pool party. I did granny apple green and pool party for the boy. I guess I'll just stick with that color theme. So I'm gonna do a blue shirt. So I'm using pool party here. Oh, her belly is showing. I'm gonna use ivory. Okay. And then for the pants, I'm gonna do granny apple green. She's gonna have green pants. And I ain't gonna lie, it's probably something I would wear too. My mom used to make my clothes out of the craziest pattern fabric and I hated it. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> so if this girl can wear green pants, I could wear patterned homemade shorts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now it is colored. Um, so now we can assemble the card. So let's go ahead and do this in layers. First thing first, let's go ahead and glue these two sections together. So we have our embossed granny apple green section. Like so. Glue that down. And then we have to glue the pool bar, pool party. I don't know what I was trying to say, pool party, um, on this front panel piece. Now the panel, okay, so this piece right here, this piece of Night and Navy is five and a half by seven and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter, okay? Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. This piece of Whisper White is five and three eighths by four. We're just gonna glue this down. Actually, let's go ahead and stamp on it because in case I make a mistake, um, we can always flip it over and try again. So I stamped this in Night of Navy, the sentiment, and you can see that I kind of did it, did it a little bit farther over to the left because this is taking up a large section of the right side and I still wanted this to be centered. So we're just gonna kind of eyeball it, but we want it to be just a little bit further over on the left side than normal. Okay. So there we go. Now we can glue that in to the inside of the card. Okay, so put this down. Okay, all right, now we have our inside little border pieces. So we're gonna take that granny apple green I 
need to use embossing folders more often. I love the textured look of the cardstock. Um, and it's really cool. It's, so I need to remember to do that more often. Okay. Then we just glue this right up to the side there, just like that. Okay. All right. So the next step is probably the most tricky. We are going to be combining these two sections here. We're going to line them up and glue them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose where we want our front piece to be. And you do, obviously don't want it very, you know, all the way over. You want to leave some space so you can see the back side of the card. So I'm just going to put glue a little bit past the center points. So I'm just going to take my runner. You can also use liquid glue if you feel like the runner won't be strong enough. But you just want to put adhesive all on one side. Remember, we're only going a little bit past that um, point there. And you just want to make sure it's kind of centered and straight. Looks good to me, maybe up a little bit. Doesn't really matter. Just glue that down and just make sure that your glue didn't go past where that pocket would be, okay? Now, for this piece on this side, all we're gonna do is just line it up with those ends there. We just want those ends lined up. And what we're gonna use is liquid glue, and we're only gonna go up to, um, we're just gonna go up to that point there, just a thin, thin layer of liquid glue, because we want our, our gift card to fit in there. So just right around the border, Okay, thin, thin line of liquid glue. Now we're going to line up the edges. It is the same size, stitch nested label. Line up those edges, clean up any glue that may squish out. Okay, so now you have your little pocket. Cool, right? All right, and then you should not see any of the blue poke out. I'm just moving mine. There we go. Okay, so now we have our pocket. Now we have our label in the front. Let's go ahead and take our label in the our our image that we colored. You want to take just a little bit of the ribbon and again, my cutting skills today. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna put it on the back corner here. So I'm just again gonna put some adhesive down to help hold it down like so that should be good right and then we'll take some dimensionals and put this bad boy on with some dimensionals and to make sure this doesn't go anywhere I'm gonna put one right there like the special effects I made noises. Okay. Got all these backings to peel off. Okay. Now we will adhere this down. And then last but not least are our words or our letters, dad. And so because these are skinny words, we need to trim down our dimensionals and so you can cut your dimensionals in half and then just strategically place them on the backs of the letters so I'm gonna do right here in the fattest part of the A and right here so this is the A and I'm just going to put that right about the center. And then we got dad or D for dad. So again, I'm just going to put it on the fattest part of one side here and fattest part of the middle because it's just a pain with these tiny little labels or these little dimensionals. So D, A, and 
And one more D. Oh, that's the front side. That would be a big mistake. Okay. Some of my dimensionals are showing, so I'm just gonna trim it down. Probably should have cut them smaller. There we go. D A D. And there we go. Now I have an awesome Father's Day card for my dad that I can also give as a gift card. So I hope you enjoyed these projects. I hope you love your kit this month. I think it's a great masculine kit, really fun color uh, palette. And um, yeah, I hope you had fun playing with the blends and that you'll join us again next month for new stuff out of the new catalog. It's going to be a ton of fun.